thank you, by the way, for that lovely gift to Colleen this morning, both of you guys. I'm sure both of you kicked in for it. I had uh, nothing to do with it. Are they all, go are they all gone? No. <laughs> you got you to start eating, Jerry. GC, look, if you cannot put in the letter in front of GC. I had one picture, already. Did you take a picture of that and send it out? No, I do. I want you to do that. Okay, I will. Now, now that half of them are gone. I know all that. Uh, I, I took Chris, the great, it's great having you on the program. I was, Colleen was telling me about how you and her way back about, I think it was about eight, seven, eight years ago, you took a trip to Ireland. Actually, a little longer ago. It was 2004 that uh, we did the trip together uh, that uh, Colleen organized for the family. And it was actually a great trip. Uh, uh, I was able to take my mother and uh, uh, my Aunt Eileen, Sister Eileen Corrigan, for those who uh, remember her from St. Chris and Rocky River. And uh, and uh, I'd probably, that's probably the most I ever spent with Colleen's mom and dad, too, uh, which that, that was a fun trip. And actually, it's too bad you weren't with us, Jerry, because the, I uh, wish I was. the, uh, the, the driver that we had was a great, great guy, and he was a big golfer. And I, I always I found it funny because it was uh, Easter Sunday was the Sunday we were in Killarney, and he wanted to. He was doing the trip around uh, the Killarney um, the Park. Oh, Killarney and, and, Park. Yeah, and he wanted to get back so badly because the Masters was that day too. And <laughs> it, it was the most bizarre thing. There was a traffic jam going into coming back into Killarney, and we were dead stop on a Easter Sunday at five o'clock. And and you could see he was going crazy because the one time he wanted to be somewhere was to watch the end of the Masters. Uh, and uh, and I wish you were coming on our trip to Ireland. At this September the 7th, because we're going to be in Killarney and staying at the Plaza Hotel. I don't think the Plaza was built when you were there in 2004. It's fairly new. But tell us about, uh, you were talking to me about St. Ignatius. What, what was that? Well, this, uh, this past Thursday uh, was the Bellarmine Luncheon, uh, which all the Ignatius, the Ignatius lawyers uh, have a luncheon every year. And, uh, we know a lot of them, don't we? There's, there's a, there's a lot of them out there, oh, yeah. uh, and it was, uh, it was a large group. We had, we actually had Judge O'Leary there too at the end. But uh, he, uh, this year, the recipient of the Bellarmine Award was uh, Hugh Carlin, who was former probate attorney. He's now with the, uh, the, the probate court in Cuyahoga County, and, and uh, you talk about a guy that uh, could not have been happier to have received this award. And he did in his speech say that. Uh, this was probably the, the best honor that he could have gotten from any of the academic institutions that he's ever been a part of. And then uh, he was, uh, I think, he just just a, uh, beyond the moon that uh, he was the recipient this year. And, and, and could not have been a better better individual to be awarded. So he's such a, such a nice, nice guy, uh, good guy in the community as well. But he better keep his housing up. Well, he, he does. He's <laughs> he'll be before Judge O'Leary. <laughs> now, what city do you live in? I live in Westlake, actually. Uh, oh, God, so. with all the rich Irish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all the, men, the Irish billionaires. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, Chris, uh, you're a lawyer yourself, of course. Yes. yes. And uh, you, um, you've been uh, a lawyer for how long? I've been for close to 20 years. And actually, that, that's how I first met Judge O'Leary. Was actually a, a case, we had a case when we were both very young attorneys against each other. And, uh, on the opposite side. On the opposite side. When he was with the city. We are. We are. It's, you can get over there. You, if, you're, if you're a smart lawyer, you don't let, the, uh, you don't let st anything get to you personally. But, yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, then we became very good friends. So, and, uh, and he has done a fantastic job. In, uh, because, you know, as you were mentioning, uh, you know, it, it's a very important job for what he was doing with the building department and for the city of Cleveland. Because, you, you know, you think about the Renaissance that there has been in the inner city of Cleveland. A lot of people are, are buying houses in the inner city. Uh, Ohio City has become a very... A hot market. Hot market. Uh, now Tremont to, also. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, Tremont is huge. I mean, I, I think I went to look at houses down there and I couldn't, I couldn't afford them down there now. And when I was, you know, when I was a young lawyer, I don't think I would have actually thought about even buying a, a, a place in that oh. neighborhood. Uh, and you, you, so you see what's, you know, as long as the community keeps up property standards and, and they do enforce that stuff, people's property values are, are going to increase and that's what everybody wants. Uh, like my brother Jim actually just sold the, the family house in West Park. Uh, that's where I grew up was West Park Road. And you know, to, to look around there and you know, that city of Cleveland and it's a it's a beautiful neighborhood and, and you know it, but they you know they keep up the properties and mm -hmm. when you when you have that enforcement everywhere else people are going to be very happy wherever they live. It's 11.23 here on the Irish Show on W.